This is where I will park our fifth wheel. This is a 40 by 15 foot pad, concrete pad, that we're gonna have poured today. This is going to be critical because I will keep this RV here all the time when we're not traveling. And uh, we really feel that we need a concrete pad. The contractor I picked to put this pad in is kind of unique to us because uh, besides being an expert in concrete, he spent 18 years in the RV industry. So he knows his stuff. But first, we gotta get some concrete poured. <laughs> Tell me about this concrete. This concrete is uh, four inches thick. It's a uh, 4,800 PSI, real structural concrete. Um, you know, I recommend this. I was in the RV industry for 20 years, and then after work, you know, we would do concrete, and I finally just took this business. Uh, this concrete is something I recommend people that have fifth wheels, or just any 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 RV in particular. You know, during the season change in winter, you're getting a lot of settlement and stuff like that. This is something that's really good for your stab jacks. It holds the weight. It's consistent. You're not settling on one side or the other with frost and defrost. Um, this is definitely something that I would recommend for the RV world. Now for people who can't do concrete, it, what's another surface they should put their RVs on? Um, something I would recommend is uh, crushed limestone. It's something I'd put down. Also something that I'd put down is uh, concrete companies, when tear out, they have, it's called refurbished concrete where they re-crunch it and sell it. It's like a limestone mix, but after um, you have it set and like let's say water or rain hits it, it creates it to be more of a concrete base than limestone. So the water don't penetrate through and help it settle more. It kind of sits on the surface. It's very structural for it. But concrete's your best choice. If you concrete can. would be my best choice because then you know nothing's ever getting washed away by the water. And for people who just leave them for long periods of time on sitting on grass or dirt. Correct. That's not good. No, absolutely not. Something else that's nice with this is, you know, if, you, if you're using the insulated tire wraps and everything like that for your RVs, for the wintertime. This is also slab you can take, set your levelers or your stab jacks down, lift yourself up, a lot easier, put your tires, you know, straps on there, set your RV back down with just minimum pressure on the tires, saves from dry rotting or anything like that, yes. Is that a bunny I see? Okay, so the immediate question is, are we gonna put a bold paw print in there? We'll press down pretty good. There you go, Bo. <laughs> Two more weeks. This has got to cure, it's got to get established. We've been so looking forward to having this pad laid so that we can put our fifth wheel here, that this can be Wendland's RV resort. Can't wait. <laughs> Except uh, we're gonna be the only clients of our resort. Which... Well, I bet you we'll have some other folks stop by. We'll have some visitors. All right, hey, if you like our videos, would you do us a favor and give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. We're Mike and Jennifer, thanks for watching. Happy trails.